All right, guys, yesterday we got, like I said, the oil cooler and everything done. Got the front bumper on the car. Today, I'm going to put these inner fenders in and tackle the rear caliper brackets and paint my calipers. Um, trying to do this in between the rainstorm and stuff like that, so it's still kind of drizzling a little bit, but as long as it's not pouring down rain, I'm gonna be out here working on it, I don't care. But we got some pretty good rain. Um, letting the car heat cycle again to see if, if I can keep that exhaust down, so gonna do it as much as I can and just hope it works but these things walk with the cars so you can hear me a little bit better these inner fenders are pretty cheap they're like 12 bucks and then 13 bucks on Summit Racing pretty sure you can buy them other places uh, let's see here it's like the part number and everything and the brand or the manufacturer like I said they're not as nice as factory ones but like I said I don't really care I just don't want like water and dirt you know getting thrown up on my headlights and into my engine bay so for like thirty dollars this was a good investment if they fit correctly but they're cheap enough where you can cut them and it really matter but i'll let you know how these guys go but i'm gonna go ahead and get the front brake calipers off and put the wheels back on jack the back of the car and then get the back brake calipers off go ahead and tear everything apart in the back paint the brake calipers and put the dual caliper bracket and everything on, which is just the weld on style one. Cause I didn't want, I went with the weld on style because I don't have to worry about like the axle being stretched out. You know, might cause it to weak, get weak or break or something like that. So I want this thing to be as reliable and as durable as a factory Nissan was from the factory, but just drift spec. <laughs> so doing the basic stuff, like so we got the coolers done, just, you know, polyurethane engine transmission mounts all those dumb stuff that i can think that could break and i'm gonna buy like that basic kit that has like the lower control arm and the little bolts on thing I'm not trying to get like crazy big hot boy angle i just want this thing where i can jump in it drive it every day it's comfortable it's not too loud and i guess i can drive it every day and take it to the track on the weekends because this is a street car so i think a lot of people get that confused you know they want to go they go to drift event two or three times and they think they got a you know full full blown drift car but ain't the way it is for me <laughs> I want it to be comfortable for both so I think we're on the right we're on the right path but like it's not too pretty um, I know it looks probably looks pretty good on camera but the front bumper is all cracked up I can barely see the crack because I painted the bumper it's not perfect which is what i want i just from a distance when i'm driving down the road i want it to look good not look like a hot mess so as i'm driving if it gets little dings and scratches it's going to be okay and i'll show you guys the parts in a second i've also got like new stainless braided lines because one of my lines got a little nick in it and i don't take a chance i want this thing to be reliable so i'm gonna go ahead and replace it and get my brakes squared away so all right i'm gonna get to it i'm gonna get the fronts off and I'll get to the back and I'll show you guys when I start disassembling everything in the back. All right, so I just got done mocking up that inner fender. It looks like it's gonna work just as good as at the factory piece. For some reason, these front pieces always are missing or destroyed. I'm assuming because you have to take it out to uh, mess around with your headlights and stuff, so. Um, but anyway, uh, I went ahead and put some rib nuts uh, for the front part of this thing. Um, I mean, you don't have to do this. I just don't want to worry about those you know, little plastic crappy clips. Cheap insurance, just like I did for the back. You know, these things, like you, you can see how solid that is. I mean, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same thing with the front and all the stuff for the, uh, I have like a Z1 under tray we're going to put on here as well. So I just like the rib nuts better than those plastic clips that are like one time use. This right here, you don't have to worry about it again. So, to disc when I disconnected my brake line, I just went ahead and dis disconnected, geez, disconnected the hard line and put a little rubber vacuum cap um, on the hard line uh, just to keep, you know, the brake fluid in the car because, I mean, I just changed it. So, don't want to leak out more than, you know, I have to. But, like I said, I'm going to replace these uh, braided lines just because uh, this line got nicked. Um, 
I don't think it'd be an issue, but again, like I said, I, you can kind of see the plastic, so I don't want to take a chance. 100 bucks, that's cheap insurance. So we're gonna go ahead and get the brake calipers off the front, and I'll go ahead and basically take the brake calipers off, take the lines off, put the wheel back on, so I can jack up the back of the car, get the back one off, and go ahead and disassemble the stuff so I can get the hub out of there. Paint the brake, you know, clean the brake calipers up, paint them, and then we'll reassemble everything. I just want to show you guys the little rib nuts because I'm kind of, kind of happy or proud about that, whatever. Just like my car, feeling like it's not going to fall apart, or you see people going down the road, and you see like stuff flopping in their on their car, like their back bumper and stuff. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen here. Uh, even on the, even on the front, like you got that little stupid plastic nut on the fender. I used the front one just because it's kind of like locating, but I put just like a regular bolt and stuff on the fender, so this bad boy ain't gonna go nowhere especially when i put the under tray on there the front of this car is gonna be like pretty solid and i don't think you guys got to see it in the last video but you can see that little bracket <laughs> that i made for the top of that oil cooler that thing is extremely solid it ain't going nowhere and i kind of like this the sleeper factor that you can't even really tell that there's any coolers up there so i almost cut this grill out just because i don't want to go through the headache of like masking it off and like repainting it because foolishly i masked the front of this off right and then i painted the whole bumper and as you can imagine the, the overspray for me painting the bumper white went around and just like dusted this whole entire grill so it was almost pure white but i just went ahead and like masked it back off in the front i'm gonna give her a quick coat of like some semi-gloss black and put the little you know whatever you want to call back on there if anyone has this piece and you want to send it to me, you will be my bestest, bestest friend. So that'd be super dope. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, get the brake, the front brake calipers off and switch the jack around to the back of the car so I can get the back ones off. I'll show you guys how I'm gonna prep the calipers and paint them. And then we'll get everything bolted back on, get the handbrake and everything bled. So I'll have, you know, a little skitty boy handbrake and then then it's gonna be road trip time we're gonna go do something cool we're gonna hit the dragon or something we're gonna go do something take it to the drag strip i don't know but we're gonna go have some fun in this thing because it's been a long time coming and a lot of work so i'm ready all right guys just got done putting the last coat of clear on the brake coppers these things are looking so good check this out boom look at that Woo! it's fresh decals couple coats of clear so they don't go anywhere yes sir way too nice for a drift car but it's okay so i've already got like one of the caliper brackets on so i'll show you guys that real quick it was a bit more of a headache than i actually thought it was going to be i got to pretty much take everything take the drive shaft out so it is what it is um definitely you're just better off just taking everything loose because it makes it way more of a headache if you try to do it like I did originally and like fight your way around everything. So, but we got one side. But this side right here is already done. Um, I don't know if you guys can see there or not, but like I said this right here is the second caliper bracket for the handbrake. I'm just using the, the GK Tech um, uh, line kit, whatever. And these are like my old braided lines <laughs> for the rears which are in perfect shape so i'm just going to use these i'm gonna make me like a little bracket they'll kind of hold it you know back here i guess out of the way and just hook it up i right, said so my handbrake so setup is a little bit a little bit unique like i said that's just the part shop max handbrake and i have a hard line running from the uh the master to a t that's in the back of the car that goes to these soft lines right here and my reservoir for, to fill this up is like up under that dash pad where the airbag is so i have to take that apart but once it's all together you shouldn't have an issue i mean your brake system you know unless you get like a leak it's usually pretty good but i'm gonna start getting this side tore down basically just take your rotor off disassemble the drum brakes on the inside and just take everything loose take the take the axle out um, start taking the control arms loose the, I'd say the most irritating part about this whole entire thing is just getting that top, um, this top ball joint 
out. That's kind of a pain. But other than that, it's not too bad. It, it's pretty it's pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna go and get this knocked out because I'm like ready to see those on this car. It's gonna look so dope. Like I said, I would I've prefer to go with like, like a red or black. I didn't want to order more paint and I already had that stuff from where I painted some I painted some wheels I had. So um it worked out pretty good. They look they look sick to me. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this done. I don't feel like I've messed this rotor up too bad. It's a little it's a little little groovy, whatever. <laughs> but it is gonna work. Um, I'd like to get some slotted and drilled rotors later. I just couldn't justify spending the extra money right now. So, because all the rotors are in pretty good shape. Um, like I said, just that little bit of scratching that's on these. That probably won't last past the brakes getting bedded in. So we're just gonna send it and go with it. But all right, I'm gonna get the side knocked out and then I'll show you guys the calipers and everything installed and get everything bled and uh, take this thing on a little road trip somewhere. So get into some mischief. <laughs> All right, guys, real quick, this is everything disassembled. This is just how I did it. Once you get your hub out of the way, you can just take your, your bearing bolts loose and everything. Basically, just pick this up and um, set this one on. Uh, definitely takes a little bit of love to get this bearing to come out. I just took a mallet and kind of hammered on it. I know that's not the best thing to do, but... Um, you know, I've had to put bearings in the car, you know, because of that, I guess it'd be okay. But these things are pretty tough, so I just kind of tried to hammer on the center right here and just kind of tapped it out. I don't like have to beat it to death or anything. But it's a little messed up. But anyway, you can kind of, you can see the difference. Like I said, just welded this bracket on here so we could have another rear caliper. Lines, same thing as on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this knocked out. And we'll get the brakes and the calipers and everything on and get everything bled out and we'll be good to go. All right, guys, it's actually the next day. Um, like I said, I kind of ran out of daylight. I can't even remember where I left off, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys stuff that I know you haven't seen. Um, got the front brakes on there. I'm not, you know, too crazy about the color combo, but like I said, that's just the paint I had. So I got those little ender fenders in. If you're looking for a good deal on ender fenders, I'm telling you, they're like 13 bucks and like 14 bucks for the other one. They fit pretty good. Uh, let's see here. I got the Z1 under tray all put in. Had to trim a little bit of it on this side right here for the oil lines. Like right, had to trim that little, which I kind of went a little crazy, trimmed a bit too much, especially back here, but I don't really care. Now this bolt right here is actually going through and hitting. <laughs> One of the oil lines, the easy solution for that would just be take that one uh, nut cert, whatever you want to call it, and uh, bolt out and just let it ride. But I don't want my plastic flopping around, man. So I'm going to put some kind of like protective, I get like an old rubber hose or something, cut it and just slide it up on there. And, you know, maybe it'll keep it from rubbing through my, my oil line. But so far, so good. I've already got, like I said, I got the front brakes done on both sides. <clears throat> but I've already got the braided lines on, the brake calipers on, front and rear. Um, so all I have to do is just jack the back of the car up, bleed the brakes, and I should be good to drive this thing. Not, like I said, overly thrilled with those, uh, the color combo right there. The brake caliper is like a gun metal. This is more like a gold. But it is what it is. These wheels are going to have to be redone anyway because they come off a crash car and they have like some little nicks and stuff for the, for the I guess the car like hit the guardrail. Um, like pretty bad stuff. But they look good. They're not bent, so I'll probably have them fixed and, I don't know, paint them some kind of color. Maybe gunmetal to match the brake calibers. I don't know. Those The brake calibers will end up getting redone probably. I don't, I don't know. I'm just pumped. This thing's finally coming together. I got to, um, like I said, I'm going to jack the back of the car bleed the brakes and it should be pretty much done so i was going to actually like drive a little bit in this video but i think i'm going to end it right here so in the next video i'll take the car out and do something you know we'll get that victory burn out in go drive around a little bit but i think this video is getting pretty long so i'm just going to end it right here in the next video 
will definitely get this thing. Uh, oh, I'll show you my brake reservoir real quick for the handbrake. Um, which is it's, it's not the most convenient, but you don't lose your look your cubby. So I've had it both ways. Um, I don't know. I like the cubby, so I don't like to to mess it up. But right there, you can see that's just where the reservoir is for the handbrake. All you have to do is just pull this one panel down and it also gives you like a little tray so if you're dripping brake fluid it don't get on your carpet so it is a bit of a headache to to get your hand in there and to bleed that but you know sacrifices but I don't lose my cubby last time I had done this I cut a hole in the bottom of the floor the cubby and it was in there That way is definitely more convenient to fill it up and stuff, but like I said, I didn't want to do it this time, so I tried to do a little something different. I just put it where the airbag's supposed to go. Um, yeah, this thing is 100% done now, all except for like the windshield wipers and the battery cover and stuff like that, which takes no time at all, so I'm gonna get that knocked out. But like I said, um, that's from the end of this video, and uh, the next video will we'll definitely take this thing for a drive, because um, I'm ready, man. So much work has went in this thing. All right, guys, that's enough of me uh, talking for now. I'm gonna jump off, get this thing knocked out, and actually go have some fun with my car. So you'll see that in the next video. Appreciate you guys.